We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be hunting here in Medved Taiga, and we are going to be having a close look at my moose grind. Now, so far, this grind has been pretty darn great. I'm at about 7,000 kills, and so far, I have spawned four Great One Moose, a crazy amount of piebalds, I'm not even sure how many, two melanistics, and last night, I finally got my very first albino bull moose. We're gonna have a close look at that, and that is not the only trophy we got. We actually got a diamond moose to break 300, and I will share that with you in today's video. Oh, I got an albino bull! That's my first one! That is kind of crazy. Now, that doesn't mean this is the same experience for everyone, but for me, in my grinds, an albino bull moose has become more rare than an actual great one. I got four great ones before I got a single albino bull moose. Let's take a couple of these bad boys out. Now, when I shoot this little dude here, this guy should turn a little more for me and give me a better shot. He is an absolute beauty. He goes up to 291. It's not a diamond, but he is a nice one. Got a heart shot on the first one, and we did get the second one. He is going down. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments what your best moose trophy has been so far, and stick around right to the end of the video. I will share a keyword with you. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one-month membership to the channel. So in my grind, what I'm carrying with me are two 300s. I have the Frontier and the Marches, just so I can use all four shots. And if need be, I can cycle over to the second 300 and continue firing without having to waste time reloading. And I do have the Virant 22, and that is just to turn the moose. And that was a beauty hard shot. Love dropping them with the hard shot. Very satisfying. And I do like to hunt with my dog, but I don't need them right now. So how are you doing, my buddy? Oh, you are very pretty. Let's turn the light on. Ah, uh, what am I gonna say this guy's gonna score? 250? 249.42, darn it. I am good. Now nah, I just have had a little bit of practice with the moose. 7,000 kills is a lot of experience and that takes a very long time. I started shooting moose before Christmas. Before the moose great one came out, I was already grinding moose. Yes, I'm a little crazy. So I just moved to the second zone and look at the beautiful moose waiting for me to shoot. Oh my gosh. Now this is part of herd management. The reason I have big moose here is because when I started my grind, what I did, well, the first step you wanna do when starting any grind is find all your drink zones. Now they will be spread all over the map here in Medved. You're gonna have a pile of them on the ravine. The big lake has always been a really good spot for me, but they can literally be on any water source. So the entire map does need to be checked and it is a big job. But once you have found, I would say about 120, drink zones you should be good to start and you probably will continue to find them as you do your grind and the reason you definitely want to find them all is because it will just ensure consistent respawns I can't not stand it when my moose do not respawn now this is a problem that you can run into in the grind and he's chickening out that's actually totally all right this guy went aggressive on me and then somehow he spooked but if I had to shoot him, and I don't really want to because he is a two, probably spook this guy down here. Now somehow I've had a little level two spawn in there. With doing herd management, basically what I'm trying to do is only shoot the mid threes and level fours and the level fives, of course. And anything smaller, I try not to shoot. Now, if it does show up in a main shooting lake, I do shoot it, because if I don't, it will be there forever. We need to get something bigger in there. But basically with herd management, what you want to do is first find all your zones then you want to set up with 16 tents at 16 different zones and you want to start shooting those mid levels when you come back to any of the lakes and you find nothing but small moose that is when you want to pull up your tent and tripod and move somewhere else you want to pick 10 zones, eight to 10 zones that are your favorites. And those are the ones you're gonna stick with throughout your entire grind. And the rest, you're gonna keep moving those tents and tripods when you do get small moose there. And you continue doing that until your 10 zones are the only ones left with big moose. And once you do that, you can stop going to all the other lakes. Just focus on your eight to 10 main shooting lakes, which is what I'm doing right now. And they should be nothing but bigger moose because the rest of the map is covered in small moose. Did I get the little guy? No, I don't like to shoot him. I did get him. I think I got them both. I did. Okay, I was going for a heart, but clearly I missed the mark. And that is a silver, not too bad. 
I'd say that's definitely a medium size level three. This guy is too small, but he's all I have there. So hopefully something big will come back. And look at that. A five medium has spawned. Uh, I think we might need to change the time. Looks like he's leaving. Yep, 10 after six. So usually when I change the time, I try to keep it pretty late in the drink time. I usually set it to about 1430 or 1445. You do spend a little bit more money on time changes, but it really helps keep them in their zones. And if I have been to all of my zones, once I change the time, I leave the map and come back, but I have not been to all my zones yet. So I'm not gonna bother right now. And that definitely looks like he should make diamond. I mean, he will, but we're definitely gonna find out right now. Now, I wouldn't normally shoot anything with a bow during my great one grind, but would you guys like me to shoot him with a bow just for fun? Let's do it. Okay, here he is. Oh my gosh, he is stunning. My big fear is that I'm gonna get attacked by an aggressive female. Turn for me, dude. Look at that. Look at him. Okay, here we go. on top of him. Well, at least I didn't muff it. How the heck did he get that much closer to me? Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna do it again. Now you definitely don't have to herd manage in order to spawn a great one, but it definitely will help you to spawn way more diamonds and probably bigger rares. It just keeps moving. Okay, that's right. Step out, my buddy. Holy, he's alert. Turn 43 meters. No, don't walk away. What are you doing? This is ridiculous. Are you kidding? <laughs> I might just shoot him. This is getting too frustrating. Well, I'm gonna call. <coughs> Probably gonna end up with a bunch of other moose on top of me, but this is my only hope at this point. Here he comes. I'm taking it. Is that a zero to 40? Here we go. I think I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes. And here come the aggressive moose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got something to say? That's for you. You too. You think you should run? I think that's a good call. And there she is. Little grumpy looking. It's a good thing bulls give you less hunting pressure. Okay, that's bull number two. Double long. Another grumpy looking moose. <laughs> Okay, and what a stunning moose he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's a troll! Get the heck out of here, man. They can trick you. He's a split rack. This side is not big enough. Oh, and I almost was too high on that shot. That is a terrifying shot. I almost messed it up, but I did not. Wow, that is unfortunate. At least we got a good shot. Let's go find some bigger moose. <laughs> One female. Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. We have a lot of really nice bulls out here. Look at that. Let's see if that was hurt. I think it was. Got a hurt shot on the first one, and I don't think I got the second one. Well, you get a butt shot then. Oh, you'd like another one? Okay, that'll definitely kill him. Put two shots into that butt, and they will die just as fast as shooting with a vital. 237 is a really nice moose. We're getting some nice big bulls. Oh, <laughs> I did get a vital. Look at that. I got thoracic on the first shot. So a couple of butt shots. Def oh, I got liver from the back end. <laughs> I did get a vital. That's kind of funny, but that will definitely give us a respawn. So as you can see it just about every zone, I have pretty nice big monster bull moose. So when you're shooting at nothing but big boys, you're going to spawn diamonds way faster. And that is the magic of herd management. Got a heart shot there and got them both. Another gold, very sweet, with a heart shot. <laughs> and I still haven't remembered to grab my dog. And another beautiful gold moose. The left side of the big lake, haven't been here in a while and I found a new zone because I knew there had to be something big around because I am getting some small respawns into my main shooting zones and that should not be happening. So that tells me I need to go and either check for new zones or check exterior zones because big ones can randomly spawn in there here and there and they need to be shot out of there. So we have another level five. I don't know how long he's been chilling there, but I'm very glad that we did discover him. How you doing my buddy? Oh no, you gotta stand up straight for me. That's not gonna do. All right, I'll wait. 
Keep us all waiting. It's all good. I got him. Oh, and I was too worried about seeing if he was going to go down. That I wasn't worried about the second moose. And... I don't know if I got him, but we got the one that counts. And I did kill him. We got two. So what do you think? Is this guy going to make diamond? That's our second level five. Oh, I love those long tines. He is pretty wide. He is a diamond and just by the skin of his teeth. Well, that is very sweet. I don't know if I should taxi him. I have nowhere to put him. Moose are extra large, as in they only fit on extra large plaques in the lodge. So that makes it very hard when you have been grinding thousands of them to put all your trophies in the lodge because there's literally nowhere to put them anymore. But I will taxi him nonetheless and we will find a place for him. So I am noticing something very weird going on with my grind. So that level five moose from over here and then I discovered a zone which I should have already had but it dinged and gave me the zone. And then when we ran down and checked down here and found this zone I am no longer getting any bulls spawning into this corner and I have been here many many times and I keep checking and all I have now are females so if I hadn't have discovered that zone I'd still be getting bulls here I will never know but that's sure what it seems like I had a video that my son edited and, and uh, then oh I got an albino bull that's my first one that's my first albino I finally got an albino! Yes! Look at that! I have shot like 7,000 moose and that is my first albino bull. <laughs> I am pretty darn happy about that. That is so sweet. Man, they are hard to spawn for me anyway. Oh, look at that. Look at that! That is so great. I am so excited to put that in my lodge. It's not a monster, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna take both of these guys. What do you think of that? Albinos are my favorite too. We got him. We got him. We did get him, right? <laughs> we got him. Oh, look at that! Yes! Oh, he's very cool. That is pretty darn sweet. Thank you, dog. In fact, you can chill now. Okay, there he is. My very first albino bull after like 7,000 kills. We're definitely gonna taxi that. He's not a big one, 160.99. We need 30 more points to get him to gold, but we will keep shooting. Maybe eventually we will get a bigger one. Awesome. And we got two. Sweet. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that! That is a diamond all day long. That is 286 to 340. He's minimum 286. Well, we just spawned something good. Would you guys like me to tippy toe up to him with a bow? Or would you just like me to shoot him? I know it's not great for time, but it could be fun. Bow shoot, bow shoot, bow, bow shoot. He's calm and he's just sticking there. Stay there. That's right. Stay there. Well, according to this, he's fifth, about 50 meters. Oh, here he comes. No, I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Here we go. That should be good. I got him! I got him! And... Splat! He is down! Yes! Oh my gosh, you are beautiful. How you doing, my buddy? Oh, he broke 300! Yes! 300.4! And look at that shot! It went all the way through and out the other side, pretty much. That is insane. I definitely need to taxi him. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to zoom in. Oh, well, that's okay. I did taxi him. This is where we got him on the ravine. And that was a crazy beast. Holy. Click right here to learn how to set up in full detail your medved great one moose grind.